drum beat sound familiar? Well, that's probably because it's the most sampled drum beat in the history of music. This beat has spread throughout almost every popular music genre. It's been used in thousands of songs by artists like N.W.A., Slipknot, and even the Powerpuff Girls. This is called the Amen Break because it originally comes from the song Amen Brother by the Winstons and was performed by Gregory C. Coleman. Not only did the frontman of the band Richard Lewis Spencer describe the song as a throwaway piece, but the Amen Break itself wasn't even supposed to be in the song in the first place. They actually just added it in later because they wanted to make the song longer. What makes this drum beat so widely appealing could do with a number of things. Since the loop is just drums, this makes it easy to slow down speed up, restructure, and add your own instrumentals over. The performance itself is also really organic and a little robotic at the same time. The hi-hats are really soft, the kicks are really strong and powerful, the snares have that pitched tone to them that makes them sound unique. There's just a lot of depths to this track all around. It's, you know, great stuff. Although this drum break is so widely popular, the Winstons had never received any royalties from the artists that used it. Let's start from the beginning. So about a decade after the Winstons released Amen Brother, these two guys named Louis Flores and Lenny Roberts featured the song on their record, Ultimate Breaks and Beats. The record was intended for DJs to use during their live sets, but then people just started taking chunks of the songs on the record and then sampling them without asking for permission. The first major artist to use the drum break in their song is salt and Peppa in the song I Desire in 1986. Cause I desire, desire. desire. But what really put the song on the map was NWA's Straight Outta Compton in 1988. Then in the 90s, the drum break started to circulate in British culture from jungle techno to David Bowie. <laughs> And about 10 years later, Amy Winehouse used it in her song, You Know I'm No Good. The list goes on and on, but it is said that Gregory C. Coleman may have never been fully aware of the impact of his drum break. The Winstons broke up in 1970 because they struggled to get live gigs as a mixed race group in the South. And 1970 was actually the same year that they'd won a Grammy for the A-side of Amen Brother, which was a track called Color Him Father. Unfortunately, members of the band did not realize how influential their drum break was until it was too late. The statute of limitations for copyright infringement in the U.S. is three years, so they would have had to file a case within three years of the song being sampled. Mix that in with the power of major music label lawyers and you get thousands of cases of technically legal plagiarism. Even more unfortunately, Gregory C. Coleman tragically died homeless and broke in Atlanta in 2006. In an effort to make wrongs right, fans set up a GoFundMe page to give money back to the frontman of the band, Richard Spencer. It was initially organized by British DJ Martin Webster. Their initial goal was a thousand pounds, which is about 1300 US dollars, but they greatly exceeded their goal. They made 24,000 pounds, which is over 30,000 US dollars. So whenever you hear this iconic drum loop, now you know to thank Gregory C. Coleman and the Winstons. What music topics do you want to hear about next? Leave a comment down below. Thanks.